I find drama crucial. It's that one thing that is teaching these people soft skills of communication, uh, empathy, learning from their peers and that massive creative outlet that it is. I sort of see my role in the classroom as more of a facilitator than necessarily a teacher. I like the pupils to have their own journey as they like to discover things. The most rewarding part of my job is seeing kids perform, uh, especially kids that have never said a word in class by the end of the term are up there performing a scene with their peers. Uh, that's what the most rewarding part is. The last year and a bit have been, a, have been interesting and quite the learning curve to say the least, but there's one thing about working with such excited pupils in such a dedicated uh, workplace is that I think we've all just risen to the challenge and actually we've created some amazing things. We were meant to have a musical which we then turned into a virtual choir. We had a, a prep school production that we turned into a, um, into a podcast and then we had a, we had a small window to put on a socially distanced show, something that I've never done before in my life. Despite the circumstances, I kept on going and I kept creating opportunities for them to perform in the arts. So I got a surprise email last Easter holiday saying that I'd been nominated and, uh, and not only nominated but shortlisted for the Cambridge Dedicated Teacher of the Year Award. I think there was about 60,000 of us nominated and I think I made a shortlist of 60 people so I'm pretty chuffed. I love working here. Uh, you've got such a dedicated team around you, not only within the drama department, everyone is dedicated to their work here and uh, kind of challenges you and uh, forces you to lift your game a little bit, which uh, I love, I love working here.